Hello everyone and welcome back to Lounging Lizards where my lizards are still lounging. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the importance of calcium and multivitamins for uh, lizards, in particular leopard geckos and beard dragons. So, um, I'm filming with Jude because he is all around, he's a very well built gecko, uh, loves his calcium, loves his multivitamins, and um, he's just very healthy. So. That's pretty much why I'm filming with him. Um, there's going to be a lot of me like repositioning him because he's just deciding now to be a butthole. So I have to, you know, make sure he doesn't run off the table or anything like that. Stop! Come on now, Bubba. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first, we're going to start with calcium. So calcium is important to prevent any um, issues in terms of metabolic bone disease. Metabolic bone disease is a huge issue with these guys. If they do not get enough calcium, um, their joints and their arms will uh, basically twist up and they will become rubber, um, as well as they will just decline from there. Um, <clears throat> if you have one that is uh, that you are rescuing, um, most of the times they will not have any calcium from the time that they were hatched. Uh, so a lot of the times there's a lot of issues with uh, arms, like the front arms being bent in or bent out. Um, if you get one that's really bad, um, usually the arms will be completely twisted around and behind them sometimes. Um, it's very sad to see. And um, I am going to put a picture up, and I do warn you, I am going to warn you now, it is very graphic, but it is a very important learning tool in terms of preventing metabolic bone disease because it is not a pleasant disease to have for a gecko or for any reptile in particular so once again I am going to warn you it's going to be coming up right now and just brace yourselves um, if you don't want to look at it you know go ahead and uh, basically just look away um, yeah Okay, hopefully you were back from looking at that image. Personally, I think that image is just horrible. I don't like looking at it, but at the same time, when I was researching how to care for leopard geckos, um, I saw that picture and I thought, why wouldn't why wouldn't somebody just get calcium for their animal? Jude, you're being stubborn. Stop it. Um, but yeah, um, it really struck a chord with me, but at the same time, it was like, well... I'm not going to have that happen to my animals, so I made sure to get calcium for them. And, um, yeah, now mine are very, well, they've always been very healthy in terms of their bones and, um, how they are built, um, you know, so, as you can see from Jude. Where are you going? Jude? That's not yours. No. That's enough. No. He's never like this. I don't know why he decides to do this now, but whatever. And he's going to do it again. So another thing that these guys really need, um, well, leopard geckos and, you know, lizards in general, they also need multivitamins. A lot of the people don't realize that they also need multivitamins because they can become vitamin A deficiency. Deficient. Um where they'll get extremely lethargic, they won't be able to open their eyes, um, sometimes they will not be able to eat at all because they're too lethargic to actually open their eyes and they won't hunt for their food. Um, in particular, um, Rizzo, God, Rizzo was like that and, um, you know, she was in pretty rough shape, she had a hard time keeping her head up and keeping her eyes open. Um, but eventually once I got some multivitamins into her over the course of a few months, uh, now she's completely fine. But, um, yeah, not a lot of people realize that they do need multivitamins. And when I can, when I say multivitamins, I mean buying calcium and multivitamins separate. I do not mean getting the Calcium Plus, um, even though Rapashi is a pretty decent company, that, that particular product is complete garbage. Um, there's not enough calcium to keep them healthy, and there's also not enough vitamins to keep them healthy as well. 
and with these guys you want to have kind of a schedule. Um, I just kind of started putting them on a schedule in terms of their calcium and multivitamins. What are you doing? Stop. Um, now I feed calcium. Um, they get fed twice a week and uh, I feed them calcium uh, through for one week I'll feed them calcium for those two feedings and then the next week I'll feed multivitamins once during those two feedings the next week. So um, once every other once every other week um, is basically what they need for their multivitamins. Um, yeah, so it's pretty simple, but um, a lot of people just get the calcium plus because it's it's simpler for them because they're not having to deal with more uh, bottles sitting around and whatnot. But it's actually, you know. I love, I don't mind Rapashi. Rapashi is a, a good company, but once again, do not buy the Calcium Plus. It is complete garbage. It will not provide enough vitamins and enough calcium for them to sustain them. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, but I would suggest getting uh, the RepCal products. Once again, not a sponsor. Um, I love their products. I use them. And uh, they are a bit expensive, but for the quality that you get and the amount that you get, um, one bottle will last me um, probably about a year. And um, although I do suggest uh, changing the calcium and whatnot every six months, but uh, I've never had an issue with the freshness of the product and it actually being able to uh, be used. So yeah, I've never had an issue with them and I love their product. <clears throat> and um yeah I mean these like I said lizards a lot of people are like oh you need calcium calcium but people don't realize that they also need multivitamins multivitamins are extremely important for them as well um, they don't play a big a huge role as calcium does but honestly um, to keep them happy and healthy and energetic you want to make sure that they are not going to develop any sort of deficiencies in terms of vitamin A and all these other things. I'm not even 100% sure what's actually in Herb Delight. Um, I just know that vitamin A is a huge thing for these guys in terms of them becoming deficient in them. So you, are, you really want to make sure that you are getting two separate bottles of calcium and multivitamins and I will say that the calcium has to be with D3 um, especially for these guys because you don't need a light for them um, if you do have a light I would suggest using a very low output UVB uh, light um, their eyes are extremely sensitive especially with the albinos like Jude here his eyes are extremely sensitive to light so that's why the lighting isn't exactly the best right now because I want to make sure that he's able to see um, because him not being able to see and he's on this small table, he can easily run off and fall. Um, I don't use a light in any of mine. I make sure to feed them calcium with D3 to make sure that they're processing it. Are you going to give me a blimp? Thank you. Um, I used to feed them calcium without D3, and then I realized that because I don't have any lighting, um, they wouldn't be able to process it, so I, I quickly changed to calcium with D3. And... Um, I mean, not much has really changed, but um, they still, um, it's just better because then they're actually processing it properly. Um, okay. <laughs> I have no idea what he's doing right now. What are you doing? Hi. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, if you do have a UV, UVB light or if you want to get one for them, um, by all means, you can go ahead and do that, but make sure it is a very low output UVB, um, basically very dim. Or if you have a dimmer for it, then that's great. You can use a dimmer, a light dimmer for that. And um, yeah, you can give them light. Just make sure that you're not, um, that it's not a lot of output in terms of the brightness. So um, I know that Arcadia has really good products for that in terms of lighting. Um, I don't, I, I haven't used them because I've never had an issue without them having lights. So um, you know, that's just my personal preference, but, um, but yeah, as long as you're feeding them calcium with D3 when you don't have the lighting system on, that's completely fine, and, um, yeah. Uh, another product that I also use is the Flu Fluckers, 
uh, liquid calcium, and that's mainly for my females. Um, I use that for them because they cannot they cannot stand the dusted uh, mealworms. They don't like the powdered calcium or powdered multivitamins. I do give them multivitamins, um, and I do still give them the powder, but I have to assist feed them with that. So, you know, typically they'll drink the water and they'll get their calcium that way. But um, I do still give them um, the powdered stuff when I can. Um, in fact, I actually have to feed them today, so... Yeah, and I think today is multivitamins, I think. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there, that multivitamins are just as important as calcium. Calcium plays a huge role, but multivitamins are kind of like the... Um, the unknown superhero for uh, for lizards in particular for maintaining their health. So I hope you guys found this informative and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching. Um, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to my channel and um, like always till next week my lizards will still be lounging. Bye bye guys.